Jerry of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. That's right, Central, the police station. Please, Mr. Platt, won't you let me explain? I will not. Oh, that this phone. The police station can't be busy all the time. Hello. Hello, Central. Will you please get me the police station? The line must be crossed. Honest, Mr. Platt, we weren't going to take nothing. Yeah? You tell that to the police. Mr. Platt, I'm with the circus that's just come to town. That's the toll with circuses. Always a lot of no-good loafers and hangers Not on. Not with this circus. Uh, what's that, Central? The line is busy. Yeah, that's a nice how do you do can't even get the police when you need them. Please listen. We had a fire last night. Our props and costumes got burned. I'm just trying to find an old-fashioned vest. We'll pay cash. Hey, what's that you say? I said we want to buy whatever we can use. We had a fire. And... Yeah, I heard about the fire, all right. But why didn't you say in the first place that you'd pay cash? Well, I tried to, but you wouldn't let me. Well, what makes you think I've got something that you can use? Well, you see, Slats and me, he's one of the clowns, we were shopping around trying to find an old-fashioned vest. We got to talking to Tom here. So when they said they'd pay for them, I remembered those old-fashioned things you had in this trunk. Then when we got out here and found your car was gone, we thought we'd missed you. That's no excuse for opening trunks that don't belong to you. Well, I know. It's my fault. I had to hurry, and I just wanted to see if you had anything. Well, did you find what you wanted? Well, I don't know yet. We just started when you came in. And... Well, come on back to the barn. You'll see if there's anything there that you can use. Here, we'll go out the back door. You won't scold Tom, will you? Well, maybe I was a trifle hasty. But when I saw you going through my old trunk, I just saw red, that's all. Tom, I want you to get after that potato patch while we're in the barn here. The sin, the way you put off that weeding. Right now? Of course, right now. What do you think? Well, I kind of hoped that you'd let me go back to the circus with Jerry. He said that I could see the show. Wasting your time seeing a circus with all the work to be done? I should say not. Please, Mr. Platt, just this one. No. Now get to your weeding, Tom. And I don't want to hear any more about it. Yes, sir. I'm going. Well, the trunk's already opened. Now, what was it you was looking for? An old-fashioned vest. You know, one of those bright-colored ones. Sure, I think I've got something like that. You wouldn't want these funny trousers, would you? <laughs> Golly, they are funny. Uh, did people really wear things like that? Yeah, and they were right smart in their day, too. Say, uh, you wouldn't sell this old red sweater, would you? That makes you think I wouldn't. Well, I don't know. I just... I thought you were looking for old-fashioned things. That sweater's not so old. I know, but I just happen to think I, I could sure use it. Seems if... mighty funny you'd pick out a sweater big enough for two of you. Well, you see, Bumps, he's my best friend. He's a clown that does the act with my dog. But... I don't want your whole history. Well, he's big and he needs a sweater. I'd like to get him one, but only got a dollar. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of wear in that sweater yet. Yeah, but you're not using it. Packed away with these old things. Listen, kid, you better learn not to poke your nose in other folks' affairs. Oh, gee, I... I didn't mean to... A dollar, eh? Yeah? Yeah, it's not such a bad idea, it's that. All right, you can have the sweater. I'd just as soon get rid of it anyhow. Give me the dollar. Say thanks. Here, just a second now. Where'd I put it? Oh, yeah, here it is. There you are. Yeah, you can wrap it up in this old paper. May as well keep it wrapped till you give it to him. That's fine. Bunks will sure be pleased. Now, if we can just find a vest. Yeah, here, this is what I was looking for. How's this? Say, that's well... Just the thing. You like it, huh? Uh, sure. 
<laughs> Golly, imagine finding it here of all places. You probably couldn't find the best as good as this any place else in Hansburg. You're dead right. We've been looking all morning. Yeah, it seems like it might be worth quite a bit of money. Eh? Oh, you mean... Oh, how much do you want for it? Well, I guess I could let you have it for ten dollars. Ten dollars? Gee whiz, flats can't afford ten dollars. Well, how much were you figuring on paying for it? Oh, I don't know. Dollars, do I guess? A couple of bucks. Say, don't make me laugh. The only best like it in town, and you need it. Why, I'd be a fool to let it go so cheap. Well, I just know he'd never be able to pay that. I'm awful sorry, but I well, I suppose I may as well. Be Here, just a minute there. Uh, how much do you think that that slat fellow would fork over for the right vest? Oh, I don't know. Well, how about five dollars, seeing he needs it so bad? Oh, I don't know. I haven't got any more money. Gee whiz, it's not long before matinee time now. Well, I... I've got an idea. i got to get down to the station myself, but you take the vest along with you and let the clown see it. If he's willing to pay five bucks for it, it's his. Oh, I don't know what to say, Mr. Platt. I'm afraid he'll think it's too much. Tom. Tom. Yeah? Come here. Be quick about it. I'll send Tom along with you. If that slats fellow doesn't want to pay, Tom can bring the vest home again. That's your swell. Well, step on it, Tom. No need to keep me waiting all day. I'm sorry, Mr. Platt. I was at the other end of the potato patch. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've changed my mind about those potatoes. I want you to go back to the circus with Jerry. You're going to let me see the circus after all? Oh, gee, that's swell of you, Mr. Platt. I am not. I didn't say a word about seeing the circus. But I want you to take this vest to that clown. If he comes through with five dollars, well and good. Otherwise, you bring that vest right back here. Oh. And I'm not taking a penny less. Tell him to take it or leave it. You understand? Yes, sir. And see you get right back here. I want those potatoes weeded before sundown. Yes, sir. Well, beat it, both of you. Take Nellie. But remember, no monkey business. Thanks, Mr. Plant. But I do wish you'd let Tom just see the show. Listen here, young man. I run things around here, and I don't want any un interference. You understand? Yes, sir. Goodbye, sir. You get in first, Jerry. Okay, Tom. Here we are. All right, Nellie. Come on, old girl. Say, Tom, if you see Mike down the road with my car, tell him to step on it. He's late. All right. I'll tell him. Imagine not letting you see the circus. Oh, he's just afraid I'll have some fun. Well, it's a shame if you ask me. And it wouldn't even cost him anything. Would you be afraid to stay and see part of the show? I better not. Especially if Slats won't pay $5 for that vest. The old man will be plenty sore. Five dollars. It's highway robbery, if you ask me. Say, that reminds me. Look, I, I bought this sweater off of him. Ever see it before? Yeah, once when we were cleaning things up. I asked him to let me wear it. It was kind of cold. And boy, he nearly had a fit. He did? Why? Well, I don't know. Said he'd better not catch me wearing that sweater. But, well, he never wore it himself. Hmm. This sweater reminds me of a story a friend of mine called Spike once told me. Yeah? What was it? Well, I can't tell you right now, but I wouldn't be surprised if you'd hear about it sooner or later. Say, Tom. Yeah? Uh, what are Mr. Platt's hours? When's he home and when's he at the baggage station? Well, he's there during the day, kind of irregular. You see, he's got help then. Well, what about nights? Well, he's always at the station from 11 to 3 in the morning. Yeah? Well, let's forget him. I'll tell you one thing. Even if he can't catch the show, you're going to see the animals and meet all the folks. I am? Sure thing. I'll introduce you to some of the clowns and... Gee, well, you're swell, Jerry. Hey, listen. You forgot I dreamed of joining up with a circus for a long time before I actually did. I guess I know what it means to want to meet folks. You got lots of animals over there? Well, one of the best animal shows on the road. Get up there, Nellie. Come on. Go on, no loitering this time. We're heading for the circus. There we are. See the tents right around the span? Here, Tom, drive right up this way. It'll take us in past the mess tent, and we can get in the back way. Sure thing. Here, Nellie. Come on, you old girl. Kind of rough riding, but we get used to it. Looks like you've been here a week. Everything's so quiet and nice. And here, you better stop here. Whoa there, Nellie. Whoa. Come on, Slats will probably be over at Clown Alley. Where's that? That's where the clowns dress and wait for their acts to go on. Here, you forgot your package. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's the red sweater for bumps. Nellie will be all right here. Leave her right there. Say, this is exciting. Here, slip in this way. It's quicker. Everyone's pretty busy today, either getting their own things fixed or helping someone else. Hey, where's Slats? Who's calling me? It's me, Jerry. Oh, hello there, Jerry. Come around here. Come on, Tom, this way. Well, hello there. Any luck? Well, I don't know whether it'll do you any good, but we got a vest all right. You did good. Let me see it. Show it to him, Tom. Say, this is dandy. Great stuff. 
Jerry, you're a wonder. I guess that's about as good as Granddad's. Of course, it uh, won't be the same, but I guess I can learn to like this one. Yeah, but there's a catch to it. What do you mean? The man who owns this wants $5 for it. Five? <laughs> you're kidding. He asked 10 for it at first. What? Yeah. I just told him we couldn't pay that. And then I started to go, and he pretended he'd let it go cheap for five. Why the old skin paint? He knew we wanted it and wouldn't find another, so he's holding the stuff, huh? I'm sorry, Mr. Slats, but he said if you wouldn't pay that I'd have to bring the vest right back. Well, does that burn me up? I sure hate folks who take advantage of you. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll, I'll pay it, but it's a dirty trick. You will? Sure. Show's got to go on, and if I can find the right stuff, i got to have it. After all, it's my stock and trade. Say, uh, uh, Slats, do me a favor. Of course I will. What's on your mind? Well, i got to go see Bumps. Will you show Tom around and let him meet the folks and see the animals and everything? His boss isn't going to let him see the show, and hey, I don't want... Hey, anybody seen Bumps? Say, there's Jason. Tom, you go with Slats. Jason! I'll take care of Tom and see you back here later. Hi there, Jerry. You seen Bumps? Well, I'm looking for him myself. Say, I, I gotta talk to you and Bumps quick. First, I want you to meet Tom. Tom, this is Jason. He's the greatest lion tamer in the business. Gee, I'm sure glad to meet you, Mr. Jason. Well, we'll be back, Tom, but Jason and I have got something important. We'll be seeing you. Okay. Come on, Jason, quick. Well, Jerry, what's all the excitement? Well, Jason... You remember how Spike was sent up to jail for a robbery he didn't do? Well, that's right. It happened in this town. Yeah. Well, I found a red sweater tucked away with a lot of things in the barn belonging to the boss he worked for. But what's a red sweater got to do with it? Spike lost his sweater the night of the robbery. It was red and, well, the man who did the robbery wore a red sweater. Well, there are lots of red sweaters in this world. Yeah, but there's something funny about this man, Platt. Well, was that the name of his boss? Yep. And you remember there were a lot of bonds that couldn't be cashed for several years? Yeah, and they never were found, were they? No. Nope. But if Platt has them, I'm going to find them. I'm going out there tonight and go through his whole house and barn. Now, listen, Jerry. You can't do that. Why, that's dangerous. Well, I don't care. For Spike, I'd... Well, I'd risk almost anything. Anything. <laughs>